Good afternoon, New York, and the rest of our listeners around the globe. My name is June Stoyer, and I'm the host of the Organic View Radio Show. Our podcast is available on iTunes, Zoom, and you can also visit our website at www.theorganicview.com. If you have any questions for our guests, there are many ways you can contact the show. You can post a question on our wall on Facebook, Skype us, send us a tweet on Twitter to at The Organic View, or you can contact me directly at June Stoyer. If you'd like to be on the show or would like to find out about sponsorship opportunities, please contact us at questions at theorganicview.com. On today's show, I had the pleasure of welcoming Dr. Svetlana Stanoyevich, who specializes in medicinal biochemistry. She is currently working at the Laboratory of Biochemical Researchers in Leskovat. Dr. Stanoyevich has been focused on the production of natural medicines derived from plants for the last two decades. So I'd like to welcome to the show Dr. Svetlana Stanoyevich. Good afternoon, doctor, and welcome to the show. Good afternoon. And also joining us will be her interpreter, Ina. Thank you, Ina. Thank you, June. <laughs> Dr. Stanoyevich, could you please talk about yourself, uh, a little bit about your research, and what also piqued your interest as far as working uh, to discover the impact of neonicotinoids on plants? Možeš li da nam opišeš malo svoje istraživanja i šta si, kako si primetila da neonikotinoidi utiču na biljke? 20 godina radim sa poučavom bilje. Uh, she has been working uh, for 20 years and she has been examining plants. I u početku sam koristila ono što je izbaš, pirus. And uh, at the beginning, uh, she has been using plants from her garden. Živeli smo četiri godine u selo. Tamo je bilo povrći voće fantastično. Kad smo došli u grad, onda je počelo da nestaje. Before that, she has been living in country for four years and they had really good plants, fruits, vegetables. But when they came here in the city and when they were starting to to have plants again in their yard, uh, she noticed that her plants, fruits, vegetables, everything, uh, was slower and starting to disappear. Povrće je nestajalo, a one korovske biljke mi nisu davale taj olek uh, koji se pravila, mi je bilo istog vesta. Uh, so the plants were uh, were starting to disappear, and uh, the the effect, the positive effect that plants had uh, in her medicines, uh, was also starting to to get uh, to to reduce. I mean, uh, the the medical effect was was starting to disappear also, and she was starting to get worried uh, because she didn't know what was going on. Povrće je nestalo, bukvalno nestalo. A onda sam išla, izvezla se van grada daleko, negde najčešće oko manastira i crkava, Čičen, uh, Čičen. Uh, onda uh, tamo sam brala biljke koje su davale fantastične rezultate. Povratne informacije su bile mnogo bolje ako se koriste biljke što je dalje od nasljednih mesta i gdje je uopće prst. Uh, ok, so uh, that's why she was starting uh, to, uh, to go far away from city and she was starting to pick up plants uh, around monasteries, around churches uh, on the places which were far away from the city and uh, she noticed then from her patients that the medical effect of her uh, products was getting better and better and it was excellent and on the other side uh, the effect uh, of medicines which were made uh, from plants she uh, has been using uh, in her yard was absolutely awful and the patients didn't like it at all. 
and that's that was a big problem to her. My so what happened? What happened with the plants from her yard? Were they exposed to something? uh, okay, so uh, she uh, noticed that her her plants don't have that aroma, that smell they used to have, and and she can recognize uh, a good plant because of her aroma, and that's why she noticed that the level of alkaloids which uh, which produce that aroma is is getting smaller and smaller, and uh, that's that's when she starts started to to research and uh, she found out that her neighbors uh, were using insecticides pesticides uh, and that inside those uh, chemicals are neonicotinoids that bad substances which are carried away very easily uh, by wind and they they're just they were flying from yard to yard and they were harming other plants and that was the case with her plants in her yard. Thank you. Can you also talk about the impact of the healing properties that a plant produces when it's in its natural state as opposed to when it's genetically modified? Znači, možeš li da, da kažeš nešto o tome kakav, kakav majkoviti efekt ima biljka kada je genetski modifikovana, a kakav kada je čista biljka? Genski modifikovana biljka nema efekta. Najlakše je, najlakši primjer uvek govorim o soji. Nema soje bez genetski modifikovane soje. I onda mi spriče kako ono koliko godina nam već koriste, a sve ranije žene idu u klimac, što ti ne dobijaju nikako doći. <laughs> ono slikovi, to najjednostavniji primjer. Mm -hmm. Ok, so she's saying that uh, GMO plants don't have any effects at all. So they are 100% bad. And uh, she's also saying that the the example of that is soy. You can take that. Uh, soy is that doesn't, uh, that doesn't uh, exist uh, without GMO, and that's why people don't know that. But GMO plants, uh, as well as soy and everything, uh, affect uh, infertility uh, in women. Uh, they affect uh, that aggressive state in men and uh, it, it's just it doesn't have anything good inside them and they're uh, just harming more and more uh, to to people and they don't know that they're using it uh, meat is also starting to uh, to be more gmo and we're eating meat almost every day and we don't know that meat uh, has a big influence in our behavior, in in our health. Let's just say that. Are the plants as effective when it comes to using the plants for medicinal purposes? Are they as effective or less effective, should I say, if the plant is genetically modified? In other words, a plant that's genetically modified can it be used successfully for medicinal purposes? Da li biljka koja je genetski modifikovana može da bude uspješno korištena za medicinske svrhe? A za sada nema takve istraživanja, to je moje neko maštanje, ali kada bi se povećala, znači biljka ima vrlo složenu strukturu. 
alkaloida ponekad ima 100, tako daš, i po 100 alkaloida. Alkaloidi su, sve substance su ukomponovane, specifične, i ako se malo nešto pomeri, neće to, nije od Boga blagosloveno, što bi se reklo. Genski modifikovana GMO, lekovito bilje, ne postoji. Ok, so she's saying that no. Um, plants which are GMO and which can be used uh, for uh, medicines uh, don't exist. So uh, GMO plants are plants which don't have the nut level of alkaloids inside them. And uh, without uh, alkaloids, you, you can't use a plant in, in medicines. The effect wouldn't exist. And that's why GMO uh, is very harmful. So no, it doesn't have any good effect in healing and uh, in medicines. Thank you. Can you please talk about your research involving hybrids and what you have discovered about the medicinal benefits from plants that are hybrids? Uh, for now, hybrids, hybrids are only just a pure evil. Nikako istraživanje ne postoje o posljedicama. And there are no researches about um, the effects uh, that they are giving. Počeli su da prave ukrasno cveće od otrovnika. Koliko ima otrovnika? Ali se to nosi u kuće. Ja lično nisam smala da ih upotrebljam. Međutim, to je izuzetno futuristički kao što je Božda Benedik opisivao u svojoj otoniju. Tako je on nazvao taj preparat svoj da podruži vek ljudi da bi pobegli sa zemlje i tišli na neku zaradnju. Koliko je mislim od tijesa. Znači, još uvek se ne radi da se poveća koncentracija alkaloida, nego da se poboljša izgled i kranje u stranu. Ok, so she's saying that hybrids are just good from outside. They're Hybrid is tulip, for example, and it just has that physical, uh, it's just beautiful, but it doesn't have anything good inside uh, itself. I mean, uh, there are... So for, first... from a medicinal pur for medicinal purposes, the plant doesn't have the same value, in other words? No, uh, no. Uh, she, she says that... They don't have any any good effect in medicine, and they are they are only beautiful from outside, and that's that's all. They don't have anything else. They they're uh, they're they're very poison, and people don't know that. And they're bringing them inside their houses, but they don't know how harmful they are. And the researchers, as far as she knows, on hybrids. Uh, are not big enough, and that's why their structure uh, isn't familiar 100% yet. Thank you. Let's talk about propolis. Do neonicotinoids impact the medicinal benefits and effectiveness of propolis? Da pričamo malo o propolistu, da li medicinski efekt, da li neonicotinoidi utiču na medicinski efekt propolis? Pa pričam ovako, ja sam u početku začala ekstrakovala propolis koji je bio izuzetno tvrd, čak i one kako je, one strugotine su davale na dnu šerpe izuzetno, izuzetno čvrstu masu koja se izuzetno teško nožem čistila samo što sam imala tektera u posluđu. 
Međutim, kasnije, već sada, s godinama, taj propolis nije više isti. On se lakše sa biljkama izmeša, znači ima više onog substancije propolisu koji se zove hidrosolubila, lakše se izmeša, ne daje tu gustinu, a nije davao gustinu onog kao pasta. Međutim, toga više nije. Kad se ranije ispitivala, to je bio fantastičan antibiotik, da je i sada antibiotsko svojstvo, ali utiču. Čele prenose čak i u tom. Ranije je moglo i niš da uđe kad ga potpuno okruže time i da blokira i da ne može da diše. A sada više nestaju, počitava ležišta čela nestaju. Okay, so she's saying that yes, neonicotinoids have a very big influence uh, on propolis. Uh, at the beginning of her work with propolis, uh, she uh, she noticed that the propolis was very strong, it was very tough, it was dark, and when she was working with propolis and she was putting it in the dish, uh, the ground uh, on the ground was uh, was a very tough mess and uh, the the rest of the propolis was very was kind of densely extremely densely and it was it was like pasta and uh, she 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 really liked to to work with propolis but now uh, she she has uh, she has noticed that um propolis isn't just like it used to be. I mean, uh, he, it isn't tough anymore. It, it uh, isn't dense anymore like it used to be. And uh, it doesn't have that effect, uh, that good effect that can be used in medicines uh, like before. And that's, uh, that's because of neonicotinoids. Uh, because bees, uh, they, of course, bring uh, bring uh, those those new nicotinoids because of the pesticides and everything and uh, that is what harms uh, and uh, what brings them to propolis and uh, it's it's very harmful because also propolis has it, it's like safe for bees uh, when they have enough propolis and when they when the propolis is strong but now uh, when we have a great amount of neonicotinoids inside the propolis not only that effect uh, that good effect that propolis has is reducing uh, that safetyness that propolis used to give to bees is getting smaller and smaller and people don't know that without bees we can live for three years because they're they're very important. Without them, we practically wouldn't exist. And that's why neonicotinoids are very, very bad. So they're harming not only plants, they're harming propolis and everything else. I propolis i srčevi proizvode i med na ispitivanje na sada za kontaktiv. Znači moraju imaju obavezu zakonsku. And uh, we in city uh, of Niš, uh, here in Serbia, uh, people uh, who, who are having bees, uh, because they know that bad effects of neonicotinoids are uh, once or twice in a year, taking the propolis uh, on examination so that they can see if the amount of new nicotinoids is very bad so that they they don't give the propolis uh, to be used and that that's very good but unfortunately it is just in that city and it isn't uh, in other cities people don't take care of it and that's very bad because we are we are using something that is just harming us, not helping us in any way. Thank you. Dr. Stanojevic, it has been a pleasure speaking to you today. I really appreciate all of your time. Uh, I just want to say thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And folks, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been June Stoyer with the Organic View Radio Show. Have a great afternoon, everyone.